Every time they win, they break a record. Every time they advance, it's a record breaker. But the East Dubuque Warriors want to sound like a broken record. Tonight, they're looking for a smash hit. If they beat Hope Christian Academy, they will advance on to the state finals. A revved up Warrior student section is into it, and their team is down early on by five, but coming back, Nicholas Klusner hits the three from the corner. He's not done, also hitting another corner three as the Warriors edge in front by a digit. But Hope Academy has got a gunner. His name is Jordan Doss, splashing in the three ball to restore an Eagles lead there. Back comes Eastern Dubuque, still using the three to do it. Lane Boyer knocks down from downtown, and then east of Buttes, Hunter Sherman drives, and he's fouled, putting his team back on top by a bucket. Later in that first quarter of play, Jordan Doss again for the Eagles. Another three ball is good, as his team is on top 13 to 12. And then with time ticking down in the quarter, it's Doss coming up with the steal. He goes wall to wall for the layup, beating the quarter buzzer, and his team leads 17-12 through one quarter of play. In the second quarter, Hope comes out strong again. Dorian Robinson with the steal on the inbounds pass. He goes wall to wall, extending the lead to nine points. East of Butte trying to come back on the inbounds. Hunter Sherman to Lane Boyer, back to Sherman, and he's fouled. They are still within hailing distance. Later, Joey Quinn of East Dubuque, he leans in, hits the jumper, trimming the lead down to six. Still coming, Sherman, great ball movement inside it to Joey Quinn, and the lead is down to 26 to 21. Klusner at it again from long range. He knocks down yet another three. That cuts it down to five. They trailed though, 32-24 at the intermission. In the third quarter of play, things start fast for Hope Academy. Shikari Essex drives into heavy traffic and scores, pushing the lead up to 10. East of Butte trying to make another push themselves. Peyton Heller dishes to Lane Boyer, and it's back to a 36-28 lead for Hope Academy. Hope still coming, Justin Rodriguez, he hits from the corner for a three-pointer. It's 39-28. Can the Warriors make another? Big push, Joey Quinn in the post. Tough angle, gets the roll. That cuts a lead down to 10. But late in the quarter, it is Javian May of Hope driving and scoring with two ticks left. They lead 42 to 30, heading into the final quarter of play. And it's just not to be as the Eagles work the clock and the scoreboard. Javian May dishes to Patrick Ross for the layup. That puts his team up by 14 points, and it is Hope Academy winning 50 to 33, ending East Dubuque's amazing season with a 31 and three record and plenty of memories. We were gonna fight every possession all the way through the game. Uh, we hustle every play, and I think that stuck true with us for the whole year. Their pressure D was was pretty tough, and they're hitting shots. That's a tough uh, tough combination to defend. Yeah, we. They were hitting everything, and we just couldn't seem to get a run going when we needed it. Well, tell me what the year has meant to you. You know, it's a school history year. I mean, uh, you know, right now it stings, I'm sure. But, uh, man, you guys uh, made a lot of people happy this year. This has been a really fun year of basketball for me, and playing with Hunter and the rest of these guys is a really fun experience. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's the message that comes out of this year that uh, what, what uh, your program is capable of, Kim. Uh, we can only get better from here. There's a lot of young guys out here that are still can get better. Mm -hmm. How important are these moments in your young life? You know, it's uh, people always say it's only a game, but you know, it's relationships and it's uh, uh, a lot that goes into it. You got a coach who cares about you, pours into you too. Um, it, yeah, it teaches you to build friendships and to build relationships with other people. But um, I mean, ultimately, it's just a game, and you can't let it be the end of the world when you lose. It seems like all their guys can put it on the floor and go right by you. You never really know like what they're going to do. I mean, they got three guys that you have no idea. I mean, they can do whatever they want to do pretty much. What was uh, kind of some of the adjustments you're trying to make uh, at halftime, things like that, as you came out in the second? They, they got that early bucket uh, in, the, in the third quarter, too, to kind of set the tone for the end. I mean, we were just trying to guard Doss out there. He was lighting it up and pulling up for three, so we were talking about getting a high hand on him, and I thought we did a pretty better job in the second half than that at least. 
game. It looked like uh, the, the, the whole town was here. I mean, uh, talk about that part, the support you've gotten this year. Yeah, I mean, it's great. Everyone supports us all the time, no matter what. And all the parents are great, and the student section's loud, proud. It's, it's amazing playing for this team. Mm -hmm. What do you file away in your young life? You know, uh, as as one of these one of the experiences of your life that not too many kids get to get to have. I mean, it's I'm so thankful that I can be on part of this team, and uh, my class is just everyone's supportive. We all compete all the time. Like even in gym class, everyone's just competing all the time, just getting each other better at everything. But you have to give credit to Hope. They were. I mean, they were all over the place, very athletic. I mean, we didn't run into that a lot during the year where they could pressure you all 94 feet of the floor, and that's really how it was. Um, you know, we, we turned the ball over a little bit more than we wanted, but there's not a great way for us to even emulate that in practice. So um, I think that was a little eye-opening. And then when 13 was knocking in step-back threes with hands in his face, um, we don't have great defense for that. I thought we did a really good job of playing tempo the way we want and for the most part. And, you know, if you just said we, we were going to hold them, what did they end up with? Was it uh, upper 40s, 50s? Right at, 50. right at 50. I would have said, great, we're right in there. And, you know, we just weren't able to hit some of the shots on the offensive end and turn the ball over a little too much. But uh, what a great experience for our kids. That's what I was going to say. I mean, what do you file away? What do, what do you take from this whole experience, knowing uh, how you saw the, the community rally around them? And uh, you probably just saw confidence ooze out of these guys that you've poured into for a long time. Yeah, I mean, we've had great community support for quite a while now. I mean, we this was our, I don't know, our seventh 20-win season in the last nine years. Um, but to get to this stage, you know, the regional titles and all that are different. But to get to this stage was really good for our program, I, obviously going forward. But um, for these guys to have this kind of experience, you know, coming from the northwest corner of the state, um, I couldn't be prouder of them. And, you know, we'll, we'll keep trying to get better and get back again. What's that like? You know, you guys are kind of on an island of your own. You don't get a lot of coverage, things like that. And, uh, you know, here you are. You know, you're one of the, the, the final teams standing. Yeah, it, well, it's awesome. I mean, um, you know, to be the last NUIC team standing here in the super sectionals um, was really neat. Um, we joked a little bit when I came down here for the meeting on Saturday morning to see everything was, they said, well, it's a little travel for you. I said, well, we travel everywhere we go because, you know, you have to come to all the way to the corner to come to us. So, um, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun and um, hopefully we're starting to put, you know, our program on the state map and we'll, we'll try and get back. Hey, East Dubuque coaches and athletes, are you ready to start Fellowship of Christian Athletes at your school? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org. With this FCA Game of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.